Hi everybody, this is Leah CJ and Drill. You're looking at hardware that I need to remove because I'm going to take the brass and I'm going to buff it up. But to do that, I've got hardware here that's being held in by a screw that is stripped and rusted. There are a couple routes you can take here with a situation like this, okay? Now what I will tell you is you want to take a piece of rubber like this, you want to place that rubber right over the damaged screw. Then you take a screwdriver, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to apply pressure. What it does is the rubber fills the void of the damaged screw head and gives this screwdriver enough bite to back the screw out. But what I will tell you is our screw is seized. So a situation like this, well, it won't help us. So what's the next thing? Now sometimes when you have a stubborn screw, okay, that's really seized, you can use this tool and what it's called is an impact screwdriver and it really backs out seized screws. So what you do is you take that impact screwdriver, you set it on the screw head, then you take a hammer, strike the end, and it would just turn it just a little bit. But it's the kind of situation where if this was just a rusty screw that was seized, well, an impact screwdriver would be perfect. But because the head is damaged, this won't serve us. Now, what I'm going to do is because I need to get this hardware off, I'm just going to drill the head of the screw out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a titanium drill bit. That's what this is. Now, what's important is this. You want to make certain that the diameter of your drill bit matches the diameter of the screw head you're going to remove. You don't want something too large because if it's too large, it will damage the surrounding hardware. But you also don't want something too small because if it's too small, well, you're not drilling off the head and it's still going to hold that hardware in place. So make certain that your drill bit matches the diameter of the screw head. Now what you're going to need is you're going to need a drill with variable speed where you can slow this drill bit down. You don't... When you're drilling through metal, slower is better. In addition, you want to get a good cutting oil. That's what this is here. What it will do is it will keep that drill bit nice and cool while we drill this metal. So I'm going to just put a few dabs of cutting oil there. Just let me put that there like that. Pick this off a little bit so I can just get an idea to see if I need to go any further. I need to go just a little bit further. Now I've got this screw head drilled out. I've got another screw head right here that I've got to repeat the same process. Okay, so I've got my screw heads drilled out from the top and also the one below. But, you know, I got to tell you, this hardware has been attached to this door probably 50 years, okay? This is original. It's not just going to pull off. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a tap with a dead blow hammer. That's what this is. I'm just trying to loosen it up a little bit. Now, I'll tell you, I removed this screw and I removed the bottom screw, but I didn't realize that there's a screw right there. So let me get this one as well. Come underneath it. And there we go, folks. That's it. Now, I've got the screw that I now need to remove. And the way we do that is with a pair of vice grips. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock on to that. And I'm going to turn it. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to unscrew it. There we go. So that's it, folks. That's all it takes to drill the heads off of damaged screws. Now I was able to remove my hardware. I'm going to take this down to my shop and I'm going to buff this brass up and reinstall it.
This is Leah saying you can do this.